Hello everybody. In previous video, we discussed about transport of water through the plant. Now, in this video, we are going to know about transport of manufactured food within the plant. We know that green parts of plants synthesize food such as sugars, mainly in the leaves. This manufactured food is needed by all the living cells of the plant especially growing cells so the food has to be transported to all the living cells of the plant and also the cells which stores the food the veins of a leaf consist of xylem and phloem tissues which are continuous with the stem now we are going to conduct an experiment to know the conduction of sugars by the phloem tissue biologist studied about food transportation in plants with the help of aphids aphids also known as green flies aphids are feed on the plant juices especially the young stems of the plants to obtain the juices aphid pierces the plant tissues with its long needle like organ called as proboscis with proboscis aphids obtain these juices the proboscis penetrates up to a phloem sieve tube it can be shown when a feeding aphid is killed and the stem carefully sectioned and we found that the proboscis pierces up to the phloem sieve tube only after cutting the body carefully leaving the hollow proboscis still inserted into the phloem tissue and it is found that the contents in the phloem sieve tubes are slightly under pressure due to this the fluid slowly coming out of the proboscis by drop by drop these drops are collected and then analyzed the fluid drops are contain sugars and amino acids in this way aphids obtain plant juices through proboscis from phloem tissue and aphids absorb so much sugar from the phloem that they can't assimilate and it excretes out of the body as a sticky syrup called honey dew leaves which have been attacked by aphids often feel sticky as a result of honey dew now we know another experiment to illustrate the conduction of sugars by phloem remove the bark like a ring from a shoot to expose the wood from the stem remove all tissues including phloem after few days analyze the tissues above and below the ring and we found that food had accumulated above the ring but was not present below it and it is left for some more time the stem increases its thickness immediately above the ring but no growth occurs below it by this we can analyze that if any damage to the phloem all around the stem will prevent the food from passing down to the roots and the tree will slowly get to the death this is a fact of great economic importance in the plants some animals get food scarcity in hard winters example some mammals in this hard winters scratch the bark of trees to get the food stored in the phloem example voles do this to the young saplings at ground level and rabbits can do much damage to the older plants so prevent them foresters enclose new plantations with the wire netting to prevent rabbits from entering foresters also increase predators such as foxes owls badgers and hawks as they help to keep down the population of wolves and rabbits in the same way gray squirrels do great damage to the casuarina crop especially the casuarina crop grown at beach and seashore with this reason some parts of 
it is impossible to grow these trees as a crop key points green parts of plant synthesize food mainly in the leaves food has to be transported to all the living cells especially to actively growing cells to obtain plant juice an aphid pierces the plant tissues with its long needle like organ proboscis aphids absorb so much sugar from the phloem that they cannot assimilate all and it excretes out of the body as a sticky syrup called honeydew after removing bark from a shoot like a ring like structure we found that food had accumulated above the ring but not below some mammals scratch the bark of trees to get the food stored in the phloem especially during hard winters foresters encourage predators such as foxes owls badgers they help to keep down the population of wolves and rabbits